Okay, so as you can see, this is a cost training video for eight story hotel building design. As you can see, this video, this building, we started from model one, which is from the scratch, from the cat file, and got to this very stage. So if you're interested to get the complete video of this building, you can check the link down below and download the full structural design of this eight-story building. You will learn a lot here in this building because in this building, we explained a lot in details and the guiding principles of structural design. So if you're interested, I will say that you should check the link down below and download that. After watching this video and also practicing what you have done so far because we also attacked the cat file, you will see that your eyes will be open to um, the guiding principles and the things you're meant to know before you can design a building. And this is already a medium rise building. As you can see, it's an s story building. So if you can design this, then you can design from one story to this very stage. So I will say that if you are a young or an upcoming engineer, or a, let me say, you are, you are a student, you need this video to be able to grind yourself in the feed of structural and civil engineer. So thank you and thank you so much. And if you're new in Ekidel, I will say you should click on the subscribe button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss all our coming videos on this channel, Ekidel. And also, by this month end, we will be launching our website, Ekidel, to serve you better. So that's just to bring to your, to your notice about the website. Okay, so welcome to model 16 of this eight story building design. So on this model 16, I'll be showing you how to create a roof parapet wall. As you can see from the card file, from the series one to this very series of series two and on model, on model 16, that there is a parapet wall on this area for this roof. So I'll be showing you now on this model 16, how to create a roof parapet wall, okay? So right now, let us begin just that. So go back to your plan view right now of your story 10, which is the roof area. Now on this story 10 right now, that parapet wall is, is directly on the perimeter of the, of the beams on the roof level of story 10. So right now, I'll just go here right now, then click on this one right now, and then click also on this one also, and then click, I'll just select all the, first of all, I'll have to create first separate wall load because the, the, the height of this parapet wall is different from the height of other wall load which we have created. So the height of this wall from the cat file is 1.2 meters. So I'll click on the, first of all, the, on, on the first perimeter wall, and then click on it, right click, and then say insert beam wall load, or uh, just edit beam wall load. And then on this place now, I'll just come here and put in my, my unit weight, which is 3.47. And then come here right now and then put in my wall height, which is 1.2. And then put in my wall thickness here, 0 0.225. And then I will now come here and then say, okay. So I'll now I right click on the one which I've just done right now and then copy it. And then click on the perimeters, hold my control key to select all my perimeter beams. Insert the, to just insert the parapet wall one at, at once. Sorry, not the grid, just the beams. Not the beams, not the grid, but the beams alone. And just to zoom in a bit and then do this and do this also. And do this and copy this. Go again, select this, select this, select this, select this, and then also select this now, and then I will now come here and then paste. Paste here, and then say yes. So right now, as you can see, it will paste directly on all the parameter floors, beams, sorry. If you now check on, on your 3D view right now, you will see that we have created a parapet wall on the perimeter as you can see there, on this perimeter now, as you can see. Now, if you look very, 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 very closely, 
on this parapet. Let me just turn off my grid lines. If you look very closely here, you will see that there is this place here is meant to carry also a parapet wall and also around this side and also this side. Then back to our plan view now, you will see the reason why that's happened. Now, if you look at this now, we have to create a wall from this point of code from this point to this very point here. But if we can just go ahead and just paste a wall load here, you will see that the wall we insert up to this very point here, which we do not want. We want to create just the wall load from this point to this point. So you can create it here with the software for that structure, and that, that, that is called a partial wall load. So we are going to create a partial parapet wall on this on this A story building right now. And by doing that right now, let me just take off this one. Let me just take off this just now. Remove this. Okay. So to create a partial wall, to create to create a partial parapet wall in this software protect structure, all I just do right now is to first of all measure where you want to um begin. So I want my wall to start from I have to on okay start from this point to this very point here. Yes, to this very point here. To this point. And that gives me what? 1409. So 1409 is where I want my wall to occupy. So by do right now, I'll have to click on this place now. If I click, come here and say edit beam wall load. And then I'll come here right now, put in my first of all wall in its width. 3.47 wall height 1.2 as the parapet wall and then here 0 0.225 and then here i will not click on this place that says define wall length i'll come here now and then put in my wall length now to be 1.409 now come here now and then say what okay you cannot see that now we have to add this thickness which is um 300 to be able to reach here because this beam which is 300 i can see the 300 so i'll add it up now and then click on this and then go here edit edit beam wall load come here now and add 300 to this value that gives me uh, around um, um 7 1.7 sorry 1.7 and i'll say okay okay that's fine so if you not check on our 3d view right now you will see what happens here 3D view, you will see that that space has not been closed. Yes, as you can see that, it has not been closed. Now, if you go back to our plan view, you can now see that we have, we have our, our wall here. We have the wall here, but on this area of this beam here, there is no wall, but they are still on the same beam. So you can load your beam partially with a wall load and the rest doesn't have walls, okay? So the same thing now, I'll just copy this one right now because they are on the same plane and the same length. Copy the wall load now and paste on this other one here. Paste on this one now and then say yes. Okay. So you can now see again, back to our 3D view again right now. You see that we have also created that. As you can see it just now from this point and this point, as you can see that. If we turn it right now, you will see what we, what we have just done so far. You can now see that there is, this is now what they call partial load. As you can see, there is a load here. And but there is no load on this other side here, just as it is on the plan view here. On the plan view here, on the same beam, the wall load just starts from this point to this point, and this other one doesn't carry wall. Okay, so right now, if we now move into this other side now, the way you the the way we created our wall load here, the the way we did our partial wall load here will be different from the way we're going to do it here. On this area, you have to um go more deeper on partial load principle by what we just do right now is to click on this beam. now we, we want our load our parapet load wall to just be from this point of column to, to to this very point here of this beam why this other side now remains without um load okay so right now we have to just put our parapet load on this area because it is only on the perimeter side and they are meant to flow like this so now i'll just go here right now click on this place and right click and then say what um come here first of all check the the distance which i want my beam to flow i want it to flow from um these points let me check from let me start from this point first from this point all the way down to this point here escape 
from this point here, sorry, from this point all the way down to this point. That gives me what? 850. So 850, then again from this point to the center of the column here. That gives me what? Um, I can see that. I can see that. Let me do again. Let's start with, with the one of 850. So right now, okay, it's meant to start from here. So dimension from this very point here to this very point here. From this point, sorry, to this point here. That gives me around 1 to 50. Let me just take 1 to 50, right? 1 to 50. So right now, I'll come here, click here right now, I click and then say edit being warload. And then I will have to put in my values first, 3.47, my warning to it. And then come here, put in my height, 1.2. And come here, put in my thickness, 0 0.225. Now, to not create the partial warload for that, I'll click here, edit, um, define wall, define wall length manually. And then this is the original length of beam, which is 3.95. I'll have to take off this length from here and put it here first as my reference point, 3.95. And then I'll come here and then put in my value here, which is the value which I want to have here. So first of all, I have to honor my calculator. I'm using my phone right now and I'll do um, 3.95, which is this year, minus what I want to have is I have here to be 1250, right? So minus 1250, that gives me what 2.7. So basically, right now, I will now put in my value here as my reference point 2.7, 2.7, and then this line now will now shift up to this place, shift there, and then. On this my wall length now, I want to have my wall length to be 1.25. And then I'll click here and then I will now come in and I'll click on what? Okay. Okay, so this is now my beam. This is now my my map my parapet wall now. But I think I'm having um small is trying to come out. I'm going to stop it on this other face here. So I'll click on it right now, right click and then say edit beam wall load. And then I'll come here again right now. I will change it to um let me see this distance. This is can be 50. Let me use 1.2 alone. Take off this and then say this again. And then say okay. No, not from that point. I click again, edit being overload. And then I will come here and then click on this place here and um, 1.25 back to what it is. And then I want to have it here. To have this 2.85 and i'll click anywhere here face again and then click on this and say okay okay that's fine i want it this way so you can now see how we have created a partial warload here i will right now come here right now copy it again and paste on the same plane for this right click and say paste so you can now see that we have now created a partial warload that instead of us to load directly all the all the all this beam we have just created a load, a wallet for just this area here. So if we check on our 3D view right now, you will see what we have just done so far. On the back view here, you cannot see what we have done. This, this is the back view here, this place here. So you cannot see what we have just done just now. You can, you can see that this is meant to flow in the same beam, but we have just created the beam, the wallet to just be from this column, from this point to this point here, leaving these other places as um as it is as you can see there so this is how to create a partial wall load and also a um, parapet wall all around this place so you can now see that we have created parapet wall on this model 16 so on model 17 will be on i think we have done the loading of the structure of this history building so model 17 will now be to create the basement floor that will be on model 17 to create the basement floor all right Okay, why? After the Model 17, we are done with the Series 2 and on the Series 3, we are entering into the building analysis and design, which I will show you what they call load reduction. Because if you're designing for a high-rise building, 
let me say from seven from six story upward you are meant to apply load with reduction so in that a story in that um, series three i will tell you why you have to apply um load reduction to a high rise building and also why and also the values and also the percentage of load we are going to reduce on each floors so you're going to learn that on series three and on series three that should be on module 19. okay so thank you so much and watch out for the next model for this series three so sorry series two which is to model for the basements of to model for the basement of this history building design okay, so thank you so much and then watch out for the next okay so as you can see this is a cost training video for eight story hotel building design as you can see this video this building we started from model one which is from the scratch from the cat file and got to this very stage so if you're interested to get the complete video of this building you can check the link down below and download the full structural design of this a story building you will learn a lot here in this building because in this building we explained a lot in details and the guiding principles of structural design so if you're interested i will see that you should check the link down below and download that after watching this video and also practicing what you have done so far because we also attacked the cat file you will see that your eyes will be open to um, the guiding principles and the things you're meant to know before you can design a building and this is already a medium rise building as you can see it's an a story building so if you can design this then you can design from one story to this very stage so i will say that if you are a young or an upcoming engineer or a let me say you are you are a student you need this video to be able to grind yourself in the feed of structural and civil engineer so thank you and thank you so much and if you're new in ekidel i'll say you should click on the subscribe button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss all our coming videos on this channel ekidel and also by this month end, we will be launching our website, Ekidel, to serve you better. So that's just to bring to your, to your notice about the website. Thank you and God bless you. We we'll love you. Goodbye.